you can see that I have a uh, configure stream and share output. Now it would probably just be, I'll start with the OBS configuration stuff. So if I click on um, my settings here, you can see that I've stream and record. Again, you can, you can use any of our output settings, but then it, let's say you don't want to use our streaming solution and you want to use something like OBS or Streamlabs. Then what you can do, you would choose one of these last few uh, output settings here. So if you wanted 4K video going into OBS, you still choose that from the output presets here. So I've chosen 4K video and then I just click share output. And share output, um, all that's doing is it's enabling Siphon and Spout out of Volta. So here's my OBS window. And the thing that will highlight here is my sources tab here. I just do plus. I click on Siphon Client, okay? And now you'll see Volta appears there. So now all I'll get out of this is, um, is the content itself without any of the UI exposed. And this is really good for a number of uses. Obviously, um, if you just want to use OBS to stream, then, then you're not going to want the, the Volta's UI around the content. You just want the content. This is actually also how you would use it live at like a live show um, on LED walls or a projector or something like that. So Volta doesn't actually have its own um, way to do what, um, what OBS is doing here, um, which would be to send it out to, um, uh, to, to send it out to say a monitor or a projector or an LED wall without the UI. So you need something else like OBS or MadMap or Resolume or something like that. With OBS, it's actually incredibly easy to do that. You just right click um, on the content itself and then you'll see um, whatever your uh, monitors or projectors or whatever HDMI's or whatever you have plugged in, it'll be here. You'd click that and then that's how you would also just send it out to, um, to LED walls or a projector um, at a real show.